Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we safely, humanely, and effectively release skunks that are captured on client's properties. So as you can see here, this is a live capture trap. It's a box style trap. And what we're gonna do is it's already covered up. So if you're gonna set a trap for a skunk, make sure that you cover it up with a towel, a sheet, a blanket, something, because it'll make this step a lot easier. Next, I use a uh, bungee cord and I attach it to the front of the door that way I don't have to have my face right on the front of the door and I'm going to give it a couple little pokes with my with my foot here my little foot wedge if you're a golfer and we're going to get this skunk out of here now you're going to see a little bit up oh, there he goes he is a big boy and you can see he kind of postured up at the end he lifted his tail uh, and I think that's because when he left he couldn't see behind him so I think just defensively he was like but he did not spray and if you have the trap covered and you talk softly and smoothly to them, they're typically not going to spray unless they're juveniles. Juveniles just spray willy nilly just because that's what they do. But this is a full grown uh, big boy skunk. So once the, once the skunk is gone, you may be shocked to find how much dirt that they've actually excavated while in the trap and brought into the trap with them. It's, it's shocking to me every time. So we're going to remove the bungee cord. We're going to remove this sheet that the client had put on here. And you could see the skunk had drug half the, you know, not half the sheet, but a quarter of the blanket in there in an attempt to get out. So we're going to remove all that. And then I'm going to show you the inside of the trap here is going to be full, two or three inches full of just dirt. And you figure the bottom of that trap only has, you know, three quarter inch slats in it. So uh, it was able to excavate all that soil and bring it into the trap. So if you're going to set a trap for a skunk, big things to keep in mind are to cover the trap ahead of time with a blanket, a cardboard, piece of wood, something. It'll make getting out of there a lot easier. And two, you wanna put that trap onto something that you don't care if they dig up underneath it. So if you put it on top of your nice flowers or on top of your beautiful grass, be prepared that that skunk's gonna tear that apart when it's inside of the trap. What do we use to bait for skunks? Anything from cat food, dog food, marshmallows, whatever you want, because they're om omnivorous. So if you have a wildlife issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or text us at 484-401-4361.